Welcome back. Sonos suing Google for allegedly infringing on its multi-room audio patents. Deirdre Boza is here with the details. Hey, Dee. Hey, well, for Sonos CEO Patrick Spence, he says that Google left them with no choice, that it's been blatantly and knowingly copying patented technology and hasn't shown any willingness to work with, this, with them. Now, in filing this lawsuit, Sonos joins the big tech backlash and goes on the offensive against what it acknowledges as an important partner in Google. Now, according to The New York Times, Sonos could also be taking the battle to Capitol Hill. The Times reporting that Spence has discussed testifying to the House Antitrust Subcommittee on these issues. Now, Google, for its part, disputes the claims and says that they will defend them vigorously. Guys? Dee, do you think that there will be more lawsuits against other tech giants from some of these partners or smaller players because of similar issues? Right, Courtney, it's a good question, because in the last few years, as we see increased scrutiny and lawmakers trying to figure out how to regulate the tech giants, we have seen some of these smaller companies that may never dream of taking on these tech giants go against them in these David versus Goliath kind of battles. You've seen it with Spotify in Europe. You've seen Yelp really speak out about Google search engine as well. So this could ramp up, particularly as we go into an election year, when lawmakers have their eye on this, on antitrust concerns. <laughs> Is there an incentive for, for the Googles of this world just to settle as quickly as possible, or, or do they not want to set a precedent of, of that? Right. I guess it depends on what that settlement would look like. If they don't have to mm -hmm. say that they've actually infringed on patents, perhaps that's how it gets settled. But I think probably what Sonos and some other companies want is they want to even the playing field. It used to be that they were really good partners, that Sonos depended on Amazon by the way, and Google to sell their products and market their products. But now all of a sudden, Google and Amazon have their own home smart speakers and are competing with a lot more might against them.